everyone! So today I have a tutorial on my own original design called the Single Fish. And here it is right now. And basically it is a two-sided bracelet. On one side there is a double cross single which basically kind of looks like a single chain. And on the other side I have a fish tail. So it's a really versatile bracelet that is reversible or you can wear it with both sides showing at the same time. And I think this bracelet is super cute and it is so easy. So let's get started. So today you will need your loom, your hook, C-clips, and rubber bands in as many colors as you'd like. Today I'm using the new limited edition bands that are online exclusive from the Rainbow Loom web store, and the bands I'm using are called Pretty and Pink. And before we begin, I would just like to say that in the comments box below, I have gotten a ton of comments saying that I go way too fast in my videos. So this time I'm going to edit my videos out a little bit less, and I'm going to leave in the part of me grabbing my bands and, um, on the way to put them on my loom. So hopefully this will slow things down a bit. If this is a better filming technique for you guys, make sure you tell me in the comments box below so I can improve my videos so that way you guys can follow along a little bit better. And now without more of me talking. Let's get started. So first, before making this bracelet, please make sure that you know how to do the inverted fishtail and fishtail bracelets on two pins. And now we can get started. So first I'm taking my first color of rubber band and twisting it across my two pins so I have a figure eight here. And basically the first, the setup of this is exactly the same as a fishtail or inverted fishtail bracelet. So put your three layers of bands on. And now since this bracelet is a half and half bracelet, on one pin we will be doing a different thing than the other. So for our pins, we're going to be doing fishtail on this pin throughout the whole entire bracelet. So we're going to be hooking as we would in a fishtail. And on this pin, we are going to alternate between hooking like an inverted fishtail and hooking like a regular fishtail. And now you're going to add your next layer of bands on. And for this, we are going to do an inverted fishtail stitch on the left side. So go inside the second um, rubber band and grab the bottom one. And on the right side, we're going to do a regular fishtail stitch. Add your next color of band on. And now on this left side, we are going to do a fishtail stitch since we, did it, since we did an inverted fishtail last time. And on this side, we are going to do another fishtail. Push your bands down. Add your next layer of bands on. Now since we did a regular fishtail stitch on the, la on the left side last time, we are going to do an inverted fishtail. And on the right side, we are going to do a fishtail. Push your bands down. Since we did a an inverted fishtail last time, we are going to do a regular fishtail and a regular fishtail on the other side. Push your bands down again. Add your next layer of bands on. And now since we did a regular fishtail stitch last time, we are going to do an inverted fishtail stitch and a fishtail stitch. So now in a two color pattern, if you are using two bands, um, two band colors, you can assign each band color with a stitch. So let's say I'm adding white on now. And every time I add white onto my pins, I'm going to do a fishtail stitch. And the right side of the pin that you hook over is always going to be hooked as a fishtail. So continue this same pattern here until you get a full length of bracelet. And as soon as I finish mine, I will show you how to take your bracelet off the loop. So it has been about 5 to 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes probably, and I have already finished my bracelet. This bracelet is really fast moving. So at this point I'm going to show you how to take this single fish bracelet off the loom. So as you can see we have two layers of bands here, and what you're going to do is just hook the bottom layers up and over. Doesn't matter what color or hooking process you're supposed to do, just hook them up and over. And now you're just going to move this right side onto the left side. 